Hello there. Welcome to the Great Awakening of God. This is a message on the Son of Man coming back. The return of the Son of Man. See, life is plain without Jesus Christ. Life is boring. So we're going to tell you what's going to happen on the day when He comes back so life can be exciting. The eternal life, that is. So are you going to be eternally dead? Or are you going to be eternal living? Are you going to live in heaven? Or are you going to be dead in the lake of fire? Or dead in hell? You choose. The Bible says, choose this day who you'll serve. You can't serve two masters at the same time. You see, you got to choose. I can't be... I can't be over there running to Jesus Christ and calling him my, my dad, my, my father, Abba Father. And I can't be running to Devil Daddy and saying, Hey Daddy Devil, what should I do now? It's evil. You can't have two dads. You gotta choose. Choose which one you want. Any word to say? Praise the Lord. Welcome to the Great Awakening of God. No episode, just the Word of God and that should be good enough for you my friend the coming of the Lord Jesus is in Mark chapter 13 starting from verse 24 it clearly says but in those days after the tribulation the sun shall be darkened and the moon shall not give her light and the stars of heaven shall fall the powers that are in heaven shall be shaken and then they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds with great power and glory and then they shall see and send his angels and shall gather his elect from the four winds meaning from the north south east and west on planet earth he's going to separate the goats from the sheep again the goats from the sheep the sheep Ma. is those that love jesus the, the, the chief shepherd jesus is the great shepherd the sheep shepherd but for those that love serving Devil Daddy, the Father Devil, it, it's called the goat. Goats. Oat. G-O-A-T-S. Ma. Billy goats. They sound the same. They almost sound the same. One when you look at them, one has a beard, and they look evil with those horns. Man. And obviously, this <laughs> is verse 27. And then shall he send his angels and shall gather the elect, exactly what I said, from the four winds out of the most part of the earth Ooh. to the uttermost part of heaven. Now learn the parable of the fig tree. When her branches wet tender and put it forth leaves, you know that the summer is near. You see, that's how they studied the time when summer was coming. Like, not like us today, cheaters. We use knowledge in the last days where we know when it's winter, summer, spring. You know, we know them all because of technology. But in those days, they had to go by the leaves by looking at the fig tree. But yet, they knew. Fig tree leaves. The fig tree leaves, my friend. And they use the skies too, yeah, after. Yeah, when they, they got look smarter. at the skies. Yes. And then obviously says, learn the power of the fig tree, and yet tender, put it forth leaves, know the summer is near. Verse 29 says, For in like manner, when ye shall see these things come to pass, know that it is near, even at the doors. Verily, verily, I say unto you, generations shall not pass until these things be done. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word shall never pass away. But the days of the hour knoweth no man know the hour, not the angels which are in heaven, neither the Son, but the Father. You see, my friend, I love that scripture says, but the Father, no man know, but come on, man. That's been 2,000 years ago. You even think the Father go reveal to the Son? Hello. Duh. Come on. He who sees the Son sees the Father. And then, why would the scripture say, I no longer call you servant. I call you friends. Now, if Jesus had the heart to call you a friend and give you all the information of the master plan and the benefits for you, why wouldn't the Father, who knowing that Jesus knowingly, willingly loved you to death on the cross, gave his only Son for you, my friend, why wouldn't he know the time to come and get you? Jesus do know when to come back. And he's coming back soon, my friend. Very soon. In verse 32, But the day of the hour nobody knows, not even the angels which are in heaven, neither the Son, but the Father. Verse 33, Take ye heed, watch, and pray, for ye know not the time is. For the Son of Man is a man taking 
for a journey and left the house and gave authority to his servants and to every man that work commanded the prop the prodder to watch meaning like a security guard a security officer watching the house before he get burglarized in verse 35 watch ye therefore and know not when the master of the house cometh and even at midnight come on man if you're just babysitting a house bill gates house the multi-billionaire and you're the security he hired you are you going to be stupid knowing that he's paying you real quality money knowing the treasures in that house is valuable are you telling me you're just going to go to sleep are you that dumb you want to go unemployed <laughs> you know what i'm saying i'm telling you midnight the roosters they're crying at midnight yeah. that's right verse 36 let's come suddenly and he find you sleeping man if the son of man come and you're snoring like a pig you know some people they snoring like a pig loud verse 37 and i say unto you i say all to watch my friend those verses clearly tells you that we're in the end times we're in the last days my friend if i'm wrong all you're gonna lose if i'm wrong is 10 minutes that's all you're gonna lose by watching this on all on top of YouTube. You only lose ten minutes maximum. But if I am right, can you imagine eternity? Eternity means forever. Forever. Are you willing to pull the plug? Forever. On your, for your ever eternity. Forever. For ten minutes. That's all it forever. takes. Forever. Okay, I think they got it forever. Eternity. So let me go to Romans chapter 10, verse 9 and 10, so that I can teach you, my friend, how you can get the benefits of the Most High God that is in heaven. Jesus loved you to death, and he went on the cross you really willingly to it. for you, and he wants to make sure. Turn with me to Romans 10, verse 9 and 10. It says that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and, and shalt believe in thine heart, heart that God has raised him from the dead, thou, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, righteousness, and with, with the, the mouth confession is made unto salvation. salvation. Verse 13, For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Verse 15, And how shall they preach except they be sent, as it is written? How beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel. My friend, my feet may have toe jams, but according to the scripture, it's sweet. You know why? Because I'm being obedient and preaching the sweet gospel to give you eternal life. My friend, the Bible says in Jeremiah 33 verse 3, it says, call upon me, I will answer you and show you great and mighty things. You want to see something mighty? Receive Jesus. That's the only way you can see, receive the mighty things. If you don't, as after, right after this time when you look at this program, you're sucking and you're already condemned on your way to the lake of fire on top of hell. <laughs> and I can guarantee you it's no laughter. It's a screaming that you're never going to forget. So remember, all you have to do is say, Jesus, Romans, and the Bible says in 1 John 1, 9, if we confess with the mouth, for he is faithful. Confess. Jesus, I'm sorry I've sinned. Please forgive me of all of my sins. Come into my heart. Be real to me. Be my Lord. Be my Savior, Jesus. Thank you for dying on the cross. Thank you, Jesus. I believe you rose from the dead. I believe that you're the begotten Son of Jesus who came through Virgin Mary, who was overshadowed by the Holy Ghost, who was given as a gift and a sacrifice for every one of us from the Father, the Abba Father in heaven, who sent His only Son to save you and me, my friend. Anything you want to say? Thank you for tuning in. Tune in to the next episode at The Great Awakening God. You guys have a lovely day or lovely night, whatever it may be. God bless.